Welcome back to Make Me a Fan. I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And today we're talking about Santino Brothers at last. And this match is one for the ages. Encyclopedia, tell them what we're in for. So it was advertised originally as yes. a ladder match. Very true. But of course, that can't be done. They had to take it to the next level. Sure did. They unleashed Santino Warfare. And there was some stuff here that you, I, I don't know how you're gonna see it. It might be YouTube, it might be a streaming service, but however you see it, grow. whenever it's available, we, you gotta see this. You have to watch this match. I love this match so much. I made it my, what, spot of the week? The whole match was spot of the week last week in the Jags Week in Review. You have to watch this match because there were so many amazing moments. I'm gonna give you, well, I'm not, the Encyclopedia is, gonna give you a sneak peek into this match with hashtag Pete's Picks. So we just gotta dive right into it. Encyclopedia, tell them who was in the match. Well, so first of all, we've got Eli Everfly. Bring the bleepy bleepy ruckus, right? Exactly. He comes out with the bring the ruckus, and Eli Everfly is a veteran of the Santino Brothers family. He's been killing it East Coast, West Coast, everywhere. The man is prolific and gifted, and he was ready to do some battle in the Santino Warfare match. And then of course their next participant is Lucas Riley. Lucas Riley, who's kind of the new kid in the world, <laughs> am I right? He's well, young. Yeah, a couple of years, a couple of years in the game now. He's young, he's talented, he's bold, he's fearless, he is prolific and gifted. Lucas Riley came out to do business. Now the third part, ooh, that's a great picture, Pete. Uh, there Damn, you really killed it on these pictures this time, man. Dude. Not that you don't kill it any other time, but you went above and beyond. Uh, this was important. Is there I another think... level beyond prolific and gifted? I, I have no idea, but I don't know. We, 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 we may have cracked into it, but uh, Matt Vandegriff. Matt Vandegriff, the man from OC, the man who can fly flip style. This guy is amazing. He does amazing things in the air, and you're probably gonna see some of that today with Pete's picks. And last but not least, the man, one of the most, I don't know, what we call him a, a veteran? He's a veteran. I mean, he's, he's, he's Santino strong. He is Hell yeah. a youth DJ, the one and only. I mean, you see this guy everywhere from Seattle with Defy to MLW on the East Coast. He is prolific and gifted. He is Ironheart Douglas James. And all four of these gentlemen came to play. This was not for the weak or faint of heart. This match was a knockdown, drag out, butt whooping from start to finish. Would you agree? 100%. And obviously there's a carryover from Bar from New Year's Day Ooh. where DJ and Eli still have yet to rectify that situation. Uh -oh. So uh -oh. we see that spill over into this match where they just absolutely take it to each other. For sure. And there was a lot of spots in this match. So please bear with us as we scroll through hashtag Pete's Picks to let you know and look show you Lucas. a glimpse. Look at Lucas. Just yeah, he's been hit the gym. He has his own parking spot at the gym. He knows where to leave. And then you got Matt who's looking for the crowd reaction there. I was cheering for him because he's an OC guy and I love the OC. And of course, Douglas James is a pretty well-known veteran and Eli. Yep. Eli is, I mean, if you don't know who Eli is, you better just, I don't know. And it started out quick with uh, Eli and Lucas, yeah. and uh, they went out and got the uh, the ladder right away. And they did not waste any time. Lucas on the dive right there. Oh, for sure, yeah. Matt got to the top of this uh, this little rope ladder. I don't know, 12 foot, 15 foot ladder, whatever. Tall I can't enough. call that little. Yeah, yeah, it's tall enough. If I was on there, it wouldn't feel little. How about that? Mm. But he got on this ladder. The reason why I said it's little because there's a big old ladder coming up. We won't talk about that yet. But Matt Vandergrip climbs up on the ladder. Douglas James sees an opportunity, pushes him off into both Lucas and Eli. And that was just the first, what, minute, two minutes of the match? Yeah, no, I was gonna say, Matt smartly in, in midair, turned it into to, into a tope cone helo. Oh yeah, for sure. So he at least could get some offense in against the guys on the outside. Because he knows what he's doing in the air. He is a veteran of the air. Oh, he's yeah. got those frequent flyer moves. Yes, he's a part of the friendly skies. Now, Lucas in the ring, looking at Douglas James, and of course- He hits him with that drop kick right into that. Oh, yeah, so into great. that ladder. There's so many good moves. I mean, yeah, just, I mean, I almost want to just shut up and let's just scroll through the pictures for a minute because I can't really add to what the hell they did. These guys were amazing. Oh, 100%. Oh, this man. is, yeah, this is just some wild, wild action. I'm going to give you guys a tip. How about this? I want you to take look your at that. Look at that into the, that into, the into the ladder. Yeah, and the ladder just folding under crumbled, the pressure. Crumbled, crumbled. Man, it's crazy. That was a hell of a, yeah, yeah and that ladder, that yeah. Look at that destruction. This is what warfare looks like, folks. Yep. And that's not the end either, because that ladder's gonna come back into play in a minute. However, what I was saying is I want you to go to social media, follow Eli Everfly on Twitter. You can see some clips from this match, and it was amazing. I got—I don't think I got very many clips, but there's a lot of good stuff posted so you can yeah, see. Look at that. Yeah, it's stupid stiff right there, stiff with the kick. And then of course, the tombstone pile driver, I guess I would call it. Hell yeah, right on the apron. The hardest part of the ring, as everybody knows, and I think Eli was out for a minute after that. Yeah, he uh, he definitely needed a few minutes, and Lucas and DJ just took it to each other and just yeah. started chopping the, the sin out of Look each other. Look at knees, everything. Oh, and then DJ's going up on the ladder. There's just so much happening in this match. Oh, dear God. Yeah, Eli made it back in the ring, and both Lucas and Eli were going at it. Lucas set up this, this ladder, and we knew what was coming, but we didn't quite know exactly what was coming. Yeah, and then uh, Eli ended up getting uh, just uh, from the ring, 
uh, suplexed into the ladder because they couldn't stand on it because there wasn't enough integrity, but still, it was brutal. Yeah, it was amazing. And then, look, they're just using the ladder as a weapon. Be and then, yeah, and then Matt actually got Lucas in the taller ladder, and yep. you start seeing him just absolutely panini press him. That reminded me of Ladder War 6. Oh, yes. 100%, agreed. Yep. And then, yeah, Lucas had to take a breather after that. And oh, then and then, dear God. Yeah, they got a door. This is where I got a little crazy. Oh, yeah, door made it into the ring. And then Matt Vandegrift went under the ring and pulled out a bag of tax. Now, this made me think of Mankind versus Undertaker and Hell of a Cell. Anytime I see tax, I cringe just a little bit because I know this is real. My son who was there is like, Dad, are those tax real? I was like, yes. You and will when, know. And when the tax spilled out to the ring, I said, pick one up. And he's like, these are real. Then, this is the worst part. Well, let's talk about what happened first. Tell him what happened, Pete. So, Eli's got uh, Matt, and they did a slice bread off the top onto the tax. Onto the tax. This man had tax in his butt, in his legs, in his back. Look at that face. That is the face of real anguish, okay? Anguish from tax sticking out of your butt, your back, your legs, your Oh, you'll arms. see him in the pictures in a minute. Yes, and that's why I was gonna say, my youngest, he says, Dad, are those tax real? Hell yeah, they're real. Then he's like, well, why is he bleeding? Then he gets up and you can see <laughs> the damage that the tax had see, done, absolutely. In those. Yeah. And then he ended up power bombing Eli. Eli. Onto a ladder, dear God, mother of pearl. This is not for the faint of heart, people. These, These guys, guys gave it all. They gave it every every single Abs thing. of freaking lootly. And there's still tax all over the ring. Oh yeah. So, I mean, this is insane. Now, we keep going in the match. Lucas is back after that brutal beating he took. He gets up to the high ladder. This is like a 30 foot ladder, 20 foot ladder. I don't know how tall top it was. To the top of the trusses. It's just freaking high, all right? Look Lucas at, is going look up at, there. Look at that. Yeah. And then DJ beat him up to the top. He actually was able to bounce his head off the ladder and knock him off this giant ladder down below. And then, of course, Douglas James hit a spot. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, it's coming up. This spot off the top of the ladder. Dear God. We'll load it up here. Oh, yeah, we got to. So people can fully appreciate it. Holy snap, look at this guy, he stands up there, his head's almost touching the ceiling. And Mother of Pearl becomes, oh my God! If you guys could have been there to hear and feel that impact, and son of a biscuit! I mean, look, you don't kick out of that! You don't kick out of that! Yeah, you don't kick out of that, and that takes you to that takes you to the emergency room. DJ went he, he, sure he, he went, he went and got a sling afterwards. If you look at his social media, he's got a picture of him in the sling. He put his body on the line, jumping off this 20, 30 foot ladder down to who was on the ground? Vandegrift. Vandegrift. Yeah, Vandegrift is the MVP and, of this match. Oh, he yeah, and Easily. it was one of those ones that it was it was slow for him to get up, but I'm glad that he was able to get up and walk out on his for own. Sure. Because a bunch of us were just like, wow, that was that was a hell. I mean, of, that was look, a hell of you a saw it here. You could probably see it online in a couple different places. Go to Douglas James's. Uh, it's at Douglas. James. James Pro, check out the footage. The man dives off a 30 foot freaking ladder, hits him with, I don't even know what it was. It was it's just like a frog splash. Yeah, it was insane. I, all more, I know more, is, more than enough that like I would have been like, yeah, I'm done. I'm yeah, I'm for sure, I'm for sure. He ain't kicking out of that. But I will say, after taking the tax, after getting hit with the ladders, after getting the slice spread, after all the different things that happened, MV, Matt Vandegrift was my MV freaking P. 100%. Matt Vandegrift, you sir, Rule the skies and you kicked all kinds of butt in this match. Douglas James, I know you got the pin, but hey, with the tax and everything else that we saw, MVP, MV gets the MVP in my opinion. Is that fair? 100%. I will say this though, Eli was the early on favorite for the MVP after that power bomb and some of the other things he took on that little ladder. Son of a biscuit. You guys killed it. I can't say enough how amazing this, this match is. This is a must see match, guys. As soon as we know how to get you guys to watch it, we will let you know, but you guys absolutely have to see this match. For Bar sure. Not, for sure. And if you don't know where to find it when we figure out the information, you gotta go to Make Me A Fan 316 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's where you can find us. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification. So every day at nine o'clock, when the videos go live, you get that notification. So but what's tomorrow? Tomorrow, ooh, tomorrow. Is that, is that Mr. Oh, that's Slice Boogie. That's Slice Boogie. Slice Boogie came to play. <laughs> Slice Boogie is coming for that championship. And if you don't know, now you know. That's a little Biggie reference for you people who aren't up on the old school hip hop. And guess where Biggie was from? Brooklyn. New York, sucker! Same place as Slice Boogie. So tune in tomorrow to see a New York man do some New York stuff to an LA boy with a championship belt in his lap. So. Is that a good enough tease for tomorrow? All right, guys, tune in tomorrow, 9 a.m. You're going to be blown away. This was a great match. Hashtag Pete's Picks, people. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.